what's up everybody? It's Drew Gregory here again with Jackson Kayak. I'm super excited to share with you the new CUDA 12. Basically, it's everything you love about our CUDA 14 boat, except for now, it's in a smaller, more compact package. And it's a little bit more maneuverable, it's lighter weight. A lot of things you're gonna love about the CUDA 12. And we're gonna walk you through this boat right now. Okay, the first thing I wanna go over is actually not really so much about the boat as much as about you. Who buys the CUDA 12? Are you a potential CUDA 12 owner? Maybe. It's really all about the water you fish. So, you know, in the Jackson line, we have the CUSA, which is built for, you know, flowing, moving water, rivers, really specialized for that. It works fine in ponds and small lakes. And of course, any kayak can go anywhere, yeah. but that's where it really, really excels, the CUSA. The CUDA 14, it's better for tracking, speed, those big bodies of water, whether inshore, reservoirs, offshore, the places you really need a lot of speed. If you're a big tuna owner, you probably got it because it's got that solo tandem option. It can carry a lot of weight, a lot of gear. It's a really good solo boat. And of course the live bait well is pretty cool too. But uh, it's really good in all water types as well. But of course it's a lot bigger boat. This is smaller, more manageable, more maneuverable, easier to car top. So a CUDA 12 owner fishes potentially all water types and or just wants a little bit smaller version of our popular CUDA 14. So it still has the speed, not quite the speed as the 14, still has good speed. Uh, it has a little bit better maneuverability, obviously being a shorter boat, and still has the great stability to you know, get up and sit in that high position and stand. So it's a really good all-around boat, and I would actually say it's probably Jackson's best all-around boat if you're the kind of person that can only get one boat and you fish all different water types and you don't specialize in any one particular. So that is who buys the CUDA 12. Could that be you? We'll see. All right, so we're gonna talk about the bow first, and I'm not gonna bore you with all the exact same stuff that's on the CUDA 14, you know, that's on the CUDA 12. So we're gonna leave all that. You can go back and watch it on the CUDA 14 promo video. But I do wanna talk about the main things that are different. And I'm still gonna mention the other boats a lot because I wanna make sure that you guys understand why this boat is different and why you might wanna be uh, in a CUDA 12. So the bow is the first thing we wanna talk about. It cuts in real sharp and hard, sorta of like the CUDA 14. Uh, almost identical actually you know the shorter version being 12 foot 4 inches long it really does turn a lot better than the CUDA 14 and of course it doesn't turn nearly as good as the CUSA which is you know real loose you know which needs to be for those rivers so that's the bow okay uh, so one of the first differences and actually it's going to become something that's similar to all the boats that have rod tip protectors is we're moving to a new style that new style is actually pretty sweet because we've added a little dip in the rod tip protector here and uh, what that does is it allows you to put your paddle in there when you're fighting those fish. So that way you don't have part of your paddle blade hanging off your boat. And, you know, and obviously it's not good when you have a fish there in line and it's hard enough to catch a fish as it is. So last thing we want is a paddle blade there. Now when you're fighting the fish, shove it right in there and it'll lay just to the side like that so you can actually land the fish on either side and your paddle's not going anywhere. <laughs> Okay, another feature near the rod tip protector, and it actually goes throughout the entire boat, is we've, we've protected our hardware with some little nubs here. So that way when you're car topping, putting it in the back of your vehicle, or just shipping somewhere, you're less likely to break any hardware. Okay, so on the CUDA 14, you've got a large front hatch. Obviously on the CUDA 12, it's a shorter boat. You had to take that space from somewhere, and one of those places was the hatch. Still, we have a uh, nice size hatch here. Pop it open. We still reach down, get all kinds of gear in there for camping, uh, whatever, you know, put a lunch in there. Lots of space. Uh, we also have the center hatch as well, just like the CUDA 14, so you can still get your rods all the way down inside the boat and plenty of room for tents and whatever gear you may need. Now, this is a really cool feature that's happening on all the Jackson boats this year, fishing and recreational, whitewater, you name it. We've got inserts placed throughout the boat uh, so you can actually put GoPro cameras, or for the fishing boats, ram rod holders right in those inserts. So no drilling in your boat, no problem. It's so easy for the consumer. You guys just put them wherever you want. There's several places you can move it around. And if for some reason you actually don't like the spots that we've picked, which are the most common places that people would want to put a fish finder or a rod holder or whatever, for some reason you don't, no big deal. Just drill in the hatch, put, you know, put whatever you want on the hatch or any spot you prefer, but it's kind of nice having those in there. Uh, just makes it so easy. 
So we've actually partnered with GoPro and every Jackson Kayak will come with an actual GoPro base mount. So it's real simple. I've got the, uh, the 3D housing in here now. I was taking photos and videos while I was on the river. But um, you can see the, the base right here. It unscrews out of the insert. If you want to move this around, feel free to do so. But uh, you, you won't actually get one that comes with the adhesive pulled, so it doesn't matter. You can unscrew this, put it wherever you want on the kayak. Uh, it's not set in any spot, like I said, so the positions we do have it, though, are really the best for filming. The partnership with GoPro is great. Awesome cameras for filming in HD. You'll also notice a lot of the cutaways in this video were filmed with the GoPro cameras, so the action of the fish being caught or just us paddling around, it's all GoPro footage, so that's the kind of quality that these cameras can produce. I know you probably know about them, but uh, if you don't, definitely go check out GoPro.com and see what it's all about. All right, so similar to the GoPro partnership, we've teamed up with Ram mounts. They make incredible mounts for all kinds of things. You name it, they have a mount for it. But uh, we're actually, of course, using their mounts for fishing kayaks. And it's a ball and kind of a swivel mount. So what's nice about it is it can actually go to any direction you want, real easy. It goes any any angle. So that's pretty sweet, just tighten it back up here. But the CUDA 12 will come with one Ram 2007 rod holder. It's a great model. And it holds fly rods, by the way. It holds bait casting, spinning. It also will come uh, on the back behind the seat with two rocket launcher uh, rod holders, which are pretty sweet as well. Instead of flush mount rod holders, we've made a change on the CUDAs, both the 14 and the 12, to put the Ram rocket launcher two rod holders. And what this does, actually, it's, it's more versatile than the flush mount because, of course, saltwater guys really want their rods and reels to be way out of the waves and the salt. Uh, freshwater guys, you know, you don't really care if your, your reels are in a flush mount, but you may want them angled back down lower to uh, avoid, you know, like on a river here today, plenty of times I've had to adjust this down to avoid some limbs, overhanging limbs. So as you can see, I can adjust this down. Of course, I can undo it if I do go offshore or in any kind of salt and I wanna have it sticking straight up. Now I've got it way out of the wave. So again, just another improvement we've made on the CUDA line. One last tip on the ram mounts on all the Jackson boats. So when you have an insert here, like we have, one key, make sure you don't shear out your insert and uh, put a hole in your boat. Just make sure you actually, once you screw this in, so screw it in, real nice and easy here. Once you do that, you don't need to keep torquing on it too tight. First of all, that could shear it out. Second of all, with the way RAM works is you loosen this part up, this component here, uh, the T-handle, and then tighten it down in the exact position you want after you've moved it on the ball. So if you try to tighten this down as far as you can and crank on it real tight, and then all of a sudden now you want to try to move your rod around at a different angle and you do that, you could potentially shear out the insert that's in there. So just be careful of that and be aware of it. We have lots of new colors at Jackson Kayak this year. You know, as for solid colors, we've got a new, really cool looking uh, olive green color. And we also have a solid orange, which is bright, so you can really be visible out there in the water. And your mixes, we've got a color called Lime On. It's sort of a yellow green mix. We also have the forest camo, which has always been popular, just the regular camouflage color, the desert camo, as you can see here. Uh, we're gonna stay with uh, Black Widow. Everyone loved the Black Widow. It's a red and black mix. We also have a color called Earth. It's really neat. It's blue, a brighter green, and white. Really cool, it looks like, uh, I don't know, the Earth. So there you go. Those are the new colors from Jackson Kayak, and uh, of course you can get a custom color, just talk to your local dealer. A little bit of an upcharge, but it's pretty cool that you can get whatever color you want. So if you've got that favorite team or favorite color, whatever, you can do it with Jackson Kayak. You will notice I do have a Nalgene bottle here. It says Jackson Kayak on it, pretty nifty. Every Jackson Kayak in 2013 will come with one of these. Again, made in the USA, just like the Jackson Kayaks, a great product, and it fits right, of course, in the drink holder, bungee, right there. Okay, so one change we did make to our seat this year, the, the great elite high-low seat that we have. We've added a curved seat back. That's just gonna make it a little bit more comfortable on your back. And of course, who doesn't like more comfort, right? Okay, so let's check out the hull of this bad boy so we can see exactly why it's so stable, why it tracks so well. Basically, we've taken the 31 inches, kept it as wide as we could, and then we went straight down and then cut it across super flat on the bottom. 
uh, we that's of course what gives you your stability. The more flats the air you have, the better. The CUDA 12, just like all the Jackson boats, still has all the great features that you've come to know and love. And even though we're not going to go over them in detail, I just want you to make sure you know it still has the high-low seating, the large tank well, a bow and stern hatch. This version uh, is a non-rudder version, but it does come in a rudder version as well for a couple hundred dollars more. You've got rod stagers, paddle stagers. The large center hatch is still there, adjustable foot pegs, the uh, flat standing platform, tackle storage under the seat, the rear tackle bag. Still has all that stuff that you come to know and love from the Jackson product. And uh, now in that nice small package. So as always, thank you so much to you for giving feedback to Jackson Kayak. We really listened to it and hopefully this is uh, exactly what you guys were hoping for this year. Big thanks to the team at Jackson Kayak. It's a total team effort there. We couldn't do it without everyone's help at the factory and beyond. So big thanks to everyone at Jackson Kayak for being a part of this making a great boat that hopefully you guys are going to have a lot of fun in on the water. So, you know, I got to go. I got GoPros ready. I got rods ready. I can't take it anymore. I got to get back on the water, hopefully catch some fish. But you guys have fun. We'll see you in 2013 in your new Cuda 12. Go, go.